Alright guys, I got one of these uh, picket fence deliveries again. And uh, I don't like when they put stuff on top of the picket fence when I have to pick from the actual fencing, which would be right now if I went straight in with the floor and picked it in that way. Um, they put concrete and uh, wood on top. Now that would be too heavy if you were to pick it from the fencing, but this door put a pallet underneath and they banded it uh, plenty of times. So I should be able to get to the pallet now. And uh, all the weight is on the uh, right side here. We got a bunch of concrete bags up there. Still not a big fan of it like this. I would rather them just separate those bags on a different pallet. It was scheduled for six pallet spaces on my truck and it's only taking up four. So um, it's kind of unnecessary for them to bundle it all in one thing, but uh, these can be a more challenging delivery. And now I got to hope the pallet is going to lift okay with all this weight and the pickets. So it is, it's lifting, but it's got definitely a little more weight than I would like. So I am gonna have to go super slow with this. And now with this one, I'm gonna get it down but I can't boom out now, which is a problem. I can only keep this right over the tires. So if something goes wrong here, I'm gonna have more of a problem, but I need to go as easy as possible to where I can get my uh, stabilizers down and boom out to safely drop this. And I just hope in this pallet holds. So I gotta go easy over the curb. These aren't factory bands, these are store bands. Over here. Alright, so far so good. We're going uphill now, so that helps. my roof on the left and right up against it and now I'm to the point where I can put my stabilizers down and now we're gonna slowly boom out I'm gonna come down a little bit more I want to get this as down as quickly as possible so I'm gonna go down with it and now it's catching a little bit on my forks so I'm going to pull back a little bit, then push back out. I'm going to go down. And she's probably going to want this closer to the wall, so I'm going to lift my stabilizers. And I'm going to see if I can drive forward, if I lock my differentials. If I can drive forward all with this up in the air. And I can. I'm almost teetering. And I'm going to side shift left. But uh, that's it right there. That's gonna be as far as I can go. All right, now I gotta be careful the roof on my left coming out. Don't clip the fencing coming out. All right, I'll be right back to get some pictures. And that's as good as it's gonna get right there. Now they can get it back to their uh, their pegs there. But you can see uh, all that concrete bag stacked up there. Those are 90 pound bags. There's 900 pounds they put on top of that fencing. I would much rather have that on a pallet uh, just to make that a little safer, easier delivery. Um, 
if you had that 90 or 900 pounds on top of just the fencing and we're trying to lift it up with the fencing, you're going to be damaging uh, the fence material itself if you're picking up from the fence panels. So keep that in mind on those deliveries. So I'm going to call it there. That's how that one's done. Give me a uh, like or comment there. Uh, Give me a comment if you got another uh, trick to that or a better way of doing that. Uh, that's the way I do it. Uh, I've done it a multitude of ways, and uh, the pallet seems to be the best way so far to uh, safely deliver, especially when they start adding stuff to the top of it, which I just I can't stand. But uh, you got to deal with what you got sometimes. So uh, subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more content like this, and I will catch you all on the next one.